attention. And now, the man with the cards, Tom Gleisner. Good evening, Australia. Great to have your company for our weekly wander back through costly making news. This was big news. In a case that's attracted worldwide attention, a jury in Virginia has found actor Johnny Depp was... Johnny Depp was... Sam. Badly miscast as Willy Wonka. Is... <laughs> True. That's not what he they were no trialling, good. though. He was illegal. no good. Was he good? It's anyway. a legal thing. He was... Also a little thick on the eyeliner. Is... <laughs> I would agree, but I need the legal term. He was defamed. He was defamed by his former wife, Amber Heard. Thank, thank, thank you, Ed. Or oh, busy week for President Biden. I'm announcing plans for a third flight with Bubs Australia. Bubs Australia? What's he talking about? Does Look, uh, Bubs Australia is the um, youngest diplomat ever to the US. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> you wish it was, but it's not, Ursula. No, because they won't enforce any, you know, proper gun laws, so they're importing new children from oh. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to deal with yeah. Uh, Alex. Uh, they're importing uh, baby formula. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like imagining when the pilot lands, he's like, here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Queen's Jubilee so much to oh, get through. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thursday, and who was missing from this iconic photo? <laughs> Ursula. Prince Philip. <laughs> he's on his flat. That's who the Queen is standing on. I'm, I'm going to rephrase the question. Who living was missing from that iconic photo? Alex. Uh, a person of colour. Is it <laughs> true? But more specifically, Ursula. Is it Andrew? Yes. Yeah. Is, there was Andrew and ten points if you can get the other couple that were missing. Luke. It was the redhead, uh, pr pr Prince Harry, right? <laughs> Indeed, Do you Harry, know him? Luke's fine. Yeah, I see him at the meetings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, Harry and Meghan. Yes, Sam. Uh, Andrew wasn't there mm. because he had COVID. Mm. Is that right? Oh, mm, mm. Yeah. That made him lick every doorknob to get it. <laughs> Here's an iconic moment from the Queen's Jubilee. <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> Alex. That's a missile launcher. Is... <laughs> Luke. Uh, that's the start of Squid Game. Is... <laughs> it should be. It's not. Sam, help me. It ignites a beacon. It... Does it? You, you, would you say the Castle Jubilee beacon? Yeah, would you? Would no, you? I would not. <laughs> Yes, Tom, that's the one. There's Igniting, only one beacon. I will pay that. Igniting the Windsor Castle Jubilee beacon. Beautiful moment. That yes. then triggered Look a lighting that. sequence all My the way goodness. to Buckingham yes. Palace where her grandson, oh. Prince William, and other members of the royal family were That was the rehearsal. I think oh, they had it ironed out for the night. <laughs> the Queen missed her own Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral. What was the official reason? The yeah. wording was experiencing discomfort, mm. which I know she gets bad side effects from the morning after pill. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Ed, I will pay that. Uh, you're not not you're, that bit. You're paying that. The Queen's Jubilee concert was held yesterday. Who opened the show? Luke. Scuba Stank. Who? <laughs> you mean Hoover Stank? Oh, Sorry, is it Hoover Stank? <laughs> I'd like to change my joke, please. Yeah. <laughs> Hoover Stank is Tom's TikTok handle, but <laughs> Hoover Stank is a band from the 90s who did The Reason. But imagine how funny it would be if I said Hoover Stank. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Hoover Stank. We will move on. Who opened the big <laughs> Jubilee show? Ursula. Was it Queen? Uh, with their special vocalist, Alex. It was Adam Lambert. I'm going to give you both <laughs> ten points. Oh, tough week for the Mona Lisa. What happened? She went full Marie Antoinette and had her cake. Someone smeared some cream Someone on it. Someone chucked cake that on the, on the Luckily, she ducked out of the way. So. And then... <laughs> yeah, because it stings when it gets you in the yeah, eye. Thank yeah. you, Ursula. You know, that, you know that, that cake, by the way, if you look at that cake, it follows you around the room. <laughs> Amazing. We do need to move on. A big celebration for 103 year old Swedish daredevil Ruth Larsson. <laughs> What's Ruth just done? Alex. I think she wrote her kids out of the will. Is... Uh, <laughs> hopefully they don't know that yet. What's she done, I though, I think she's Ed? just done Emmanuel Macron. Is... <laughs> definitely... <laughs> she's in Sweden. Alex. No, she went skydiving. Oldest person in the world to skydive. Okay. Take a look. Oh, my God. And only two toilet stops, so that was pretty good. <laughs> 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 Big moment on Britain's East Enders. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Just take heart. 
the Ivy Show. Nick! Wow, who has just arrived on set? Ed. A dentist. Yes. <laughs> Very unkind. <laughs> no, this is top shelf uh, cameos. Look, uh, it was Bubs Australia. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> just hang on, hang on. Bang no. Ed. Uh, uh, um, Charles. Charles, uh, uh, Charles and uh, Camilla. Charles and Camilla, take Look at this. Your Royal Highnesses. Because it was schnitz and tits night at the pub. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have a video quiz master standing by. Hi, Tom. Hi, everyone. I'm Mamadou Wache, and I'm starring in the latest Jurassic World film. My question is, what is the full name of my new movie called? What's the new Jurassic movie called? Luke. Jurassic Park 6. Is <laughs> Should be. Mate, I think that's a working title. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Jurassic World. Oh. Assignment Miami Beach. <laughs> it's, close. it's close. Anyone have whatever great? It's Jurassic World. Uh, Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Dominion? Let's, let's see if you're right. Jurassic World Dominion. You are right, Tim. Can, can, can I ask our guest a quick question? I think he had to leave. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just lost the satellite. Always <laughs> happens. Moving on. Meet UK Love Island contestant Tasha Amber Gowrie. What's special about her? Look, we used to date. Oh. <laughs> the case, you will know the answer. What is special about Tasha? Oh, can you say it in this time slot? Uh, <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll get it, because if they dated, she's still a virgin? Is... <laughs> what is special about Tasha, uh, Sam? She is deaf. Indeed. First I mean, deaf. She'll, she's got an advantage. She won't have to listen to all the other contestants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time to meet our guest quiz master. She's one of the best netballers in the world, captain of the Diamond. Say hello to Liz Watson. <laughs> Open finalist Coco Goff made news following her semi final win. What was her message? It was an uh, anti gun statement, uh, was it? What? Like, was stop it? gun violence? Something like that? Peace and gun violence. That's it there. Oh. Wait, that sounds like she's promoting. Yeah, yeah. no, no. <laughs> peace and, peace and oh, gun violence. Oh, yeah, peace oh. and. Oh. Yeah. Peace okay. and. No, no, no. <laughs> Liz, where do you stand on uh, gun control? <laughs> And gun violence. And gun violence, yeah. Hey. Liz, do you have a, an arch nemesis on the court? Like someone you're like, I hate this person? There's a few, yeah. yeah. Who, who are they? <laughs> Fair question. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're moving on. Play was suspended during the men's second semi final at Roland Garros to remove what from the court? Luke, I know this one. Um, it was a protester Ooh. who was protesting. <laughs> <laughs> You, to do it, Luke. you didn't need to do it to yourself. About, about, about cli climate, climate Luke, action? Protesting people buzzing in and then not really having the answer. <laughs> Luke has got the answer. We didn't need to know the cause. I think it was yes, climate change. Climate, climate change? Liz, who's your toughest opponent that you really, really hate as well? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of asking it. We're not going to do it. Them. That's, That's okay. Trick. We're <laughs> not <laughs> going down that alley. President Biden had an urgent appeal. Let us finally do something. Do something about what? Big issue in the States. Uh, Luke, this was uh, guns, uh, gun laws. <laughs> gun violence, indeed. Thank you. Meet Shooter the Horse. He had a lucky escape from what this week? Ursula. The glue factory. No, no. Oh. Hopefully not Sam. The head chef of Ikea yeah, trying to buy him. <laughs> It was in Bank Luke. I don't know all the details, but it was a bank robbery. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out. That's the it. Uh, it's a ditch, Tom. Yeah. Old school ditch. A trench in Oklahoma. Yeah, just, trench, just, buddy. just point out that, that horse's name is Shooter. Yes. yes. No. Yeah. No, that's, that country is cooked, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> that's right. All right. I believe we have some video quiz masters standing by in the US. Hi, Tom. Hi, everyone. We're Bobby and Julie Gregory. How did our dog Pebbles make the news this week? How did Pebbles make the news? Sam. Kidnapped? No. <laughs> they own Pebbles, but... I think she's the only, the only one in the family toilet trained. Is... <laughs> I know this because I love this cutie. Uh, she's 22 years old. She's the oldest dog. Oh, oh, the oldest you dog. might have it. Let's see if you're right. She was named the world's oldest living dog. Is she that old that she needs glasses? No. <laughs> the, they, they put the package together she's for us. cool. Second. Congratulations, Pebbles. To Scotland. Other unusual scenes. What's going on there? 
uh, World Cup uh, playoff and Scotland lost to Ukraine, but they were showing solidarity with the Ukrainian side. So applauding them rather than rioting with them. Yeah, yeah less bottles, more applause. That's the one. Thank you, Ed. Elon Musk has warned Tesla employees they can no longer do what? Had enough of it. Uh, so working from home? Yes, he wants them back in the office. Why is Kate Bush's power pop 80s track running up that hill back in the charts? Luke. Because it's an absolute banger. It is. <laughs> it is. Uh, but why specifically, Alex? I was in Stranger Things. Yes, in the new oh. season of Stranger Things. Spoiler. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to love it. It's a big... They also feature Scuba Stank. So look yeah. out. <laughs> All right. What are we looking at here? Sam. Stonehenge. Yes, and more specifically. No, no. That is my answer. <laughs> and I dare you to say it's incorrect. Ursula, what can you add? That's the Queen on Stonehenge. <laughs> Damn it. I think they're trying out headstones. Is... <laughs> Please. I'm going to pay Ursula. Of course, it's a, it's a tribute to the Queen's Jubilee. A Chinese fighter jet in. Oh, we're out of time. Thanks to everyone for being part of the show tonight. We'll leave you with a reminder of the need to pay attention when you're filing a live news cross. Elizabeth Moss has the details. Lizzie, how much longer could trips take? Oh, yeah. Pardon? Oh, yeah. How, how much longer oh, could God. trips take? Oh, my God. Oh, oh I think God. we're right? having a little bit of a, a delay there. Yeah, why don't we come back to it? When we see you next week. Good night, Australia.